I believe that the currency of presenting has changed. Uh, the currency of speaking from stage has shifted. Uh, it used to be about presenting information and being professional, but it's very much shifted now to creating meaning and creating vulnerability and engagement. I want to share with you my latest thoughts on how presenting has changed in the 21st century, whether it be presenting from stage or presenting to a video, and how you can use these elements to create uh, communication pieces that really persuade and engage people at the level that they want to be met. Speak to you soon. Hi, Colin Boyd here, international speaker and trainer. And today's conversation, we're talking about the new currency of presenting. Now, I believe that if you can understand some of these currencies I'm about to talk about, uh, you'll be able to use them in your next presentation. If you're a small business owner, you'll be able to use them presenting to clients. If you're a professional, you'll be able to use them presenting to your colleagues or potential clients. And I think that getting a grasp on these will make a huge difference. Now, the first concept or currency that I believe is relevant in the 21st century is vulnerability. Now, what I mean by vulnerability, it's, it's sharing a bit of you. Uh, it used to be about very much around professionalism and around information, but now it's actually more about vulnerability. Now, what I mean by vulnerability, I, I don't mean like spilling your guts. What I mean by that is, is kind of like sharing your journey. People don't want to see the bulletproof you all the time. They want to see the real you. Uh, one of the leading thought leaders in this area is a woman called Brené Brown. And um, she wrote an amazing book called Daring Greatly. You should definitely read it. Uh, but she talks about vulnerability as being the greatest courage that a human being can hold or can grasp. And so vulnerability, but just sharing a little bit of you and your story, is one of the first currencies, I think, of the 21st century. Now, the second currency of presenting in the 21st century, uh, I believe it's personality. Uh, what it used to be about was putting someone in a certain mold or style, but more and more these days, I think it's about just being you. Now, obviously, you know, it's, it's helping to be you in a way that helps the audience, but but it's very much being you. It's bringing your own quirks and nuances to the presentation. I think about someone like Gary Vanderchuk who started Wine TV. He wrote a great book called Crush It. But if you ever listen to him, he has this really unique personality. He doesn't water himself down. He actually kind of brings the concentrated version of him and he turns up his personality. So I think one of the key currencies in the 21st century is personality. People come back for your personality. Now, the third currency of presenting in the 21st century is, I believe, is depth of craft. Now, what I mean by that is you being able to have a depth in your craft enough so that you can create a unique meaning or angle for people. Uh, a great example of this is like Simon Sinek, uh, one of his great talks, which is like start with why or uh, leaders eat last. And he just has a real depth of craft. And because of that, he's able to create a unique angle on it that is helpful and meaningful for people. So we've talked about the three currencies of presenting in the 21st century. The first one was around vulnerability, around opening the door of who you are up a bit, sharing your story. Uh, the second one was around personality, which is around leaving your own personal fingerprint on your, your presentation, bringing your own quirks and uniqueness to the presentation. And the third is depth of craft, which is around having the skill set and ability and expertise to be able to create a unique meaning and angle on your presentation so that people walk away and feel like they've got something meaty. Hey, I trust this uh, conversation today has been valuable. Please like it. Please tweet it. I'd love you to write a comment what's been most valuable. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, grab a hold of my newsletter, subscribe to my newsletter if this is something that is of value. Hey, look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye. I believe that the currency of presenting and speaking from 